Do I have soccer? It's just retracted in right now because a sexy shrimp just crawled all over her. So, they do not like sexy shrimp. The bird's nest is doing way, way better. It's odd, some of the coralline grew on some of it, and I think it, it can't grow back on those parts, but um, it's fine. Mushrooms are huge. They're big again, way bigger. These are called lavender hairy mushrooms, if anybody's curious. Um, those firework clove polyps, it was there for a minute. That fully melted back. I'm pretty sure because it's, um, because of the salinity. <sighs> this boy, the anemone has been just unhappy ever since. It's probably because of the whole salinity issue, but things should be fine now. And... The little baby it popped out is doing terrible. Look at that thing. It's like, um, melted a little bit, the tentacles. I'm not sure if I should just take it out, but I mean, it's still like, coming out. Go back in and move in and stuff. So I'm trying to be optimistic and think like, oh, well, maybe it'll, Come back! Look at that nice detritus. So brown. Yummy. I did buy some uh, salt. So we're gonna start mixing our own salt from now on. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna buy our own water from the store and mix our own salt from now on. So <sighs> that might be good. Here, can you see them? There's supposed to be feather dusters on here. Would you like to focus? Nah, you can't see them that well. Or maybe if I spook them. I didn't spook them. It's not working. Sometimes when I open my drawer, maybe. The chalice is coming back in the 75 gallon. The bird's nest in that tank was bleaching out on the tips, and now it's starting to grow back too after the salinity and stuff. This anemone had me worried though, because I was thinking maybe there's something wrong with my water parameters. So, yeah. So, I have this uh, salt water test kit, and I did test for nitrates, and there were none. So, it's not nitrates. Um, that's really the only thing I can think of. Also, lighting issues. Maybe I just have to see what's the best. Jesus, they really like anemones. I was thinking about getting like a, a plate coral or something because they're kind of similar to anemones and just put it over there. And maybe the sexy shrimp can go bother that instead because I noticed like. When they climb on him, he retracts. He does not enjoy it. That might also be a reason why he's uh, so unhappy. Dude, do you mind? Yeah, the sexy shrimp are doing great though. None of them have died. They're doing awesome. They're irritating every coral they see. They love the bird's nest at night. A bunch of them will hang out on the birds. I've also noticed that the hermit crabs <laughs> will like all bunch up and go on top of the like tippy top of the bird's nest to sleep. It's so weird. 
Um, and yeah, that's, that's really about it. Uh, I don't really get to see my pistol shrimps like ever because um they hide. But I can always hear them popping. They're always popping at night. It's a party. So yeah, that's about it for an update after the salinity, the salinity uh, apocalypse. I mean, at least my mushrooms, at least my mushrooms are doing great. Dude, they really like following me. It's coming out a little bit. That's about it for this week as a little update and I hope you have a good day.